Hello friends, today we're going to understand where the object's prototype comes from. Just like people inherit genes from their parents, an object inherits its prototype directly from the constructor function that created it. For example, here the bird construct constructor creates the duck object. Uh, we've got a function called bird with a capital B, so we know it's a constructor. Uh, and then we passed in the name, and then this dot name is set to the name that we pass in. And so if we say let duck equal a new bird with the name Donald, then the duck is a new is there we go. Duck inherits its prototype from the bird constructor function. You can show this relationship with the is prototype of method. So bird dot prototype is prototype of duck. So this just says is a duck uh, prototype of of or it does the duck variable have a prototype associated with bird so use is prototype of to check the prototype of beagle um yeah dog dot prototype dot is prototype of beagle um console.log this to see what we're working with here. Yeah, this run turns true. So what we're saying is Beagle a prototype of dog? Then the answer is yes. Run the test. Okay, so this is kind of a weird one. Why 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 would we why is this important? Um the way that we checked with the constructor, right? Um if remember before we would console log and beagle dot um, constructor that's equal to dog, right? So this is one way that we can check. But if we go um, uh, beagle uh, how did they do that? Beagle and then we set uh, the number of legs to four and then we console log the constructor it becomes object. However, if we console log um, dog dot prototype of beagle then it becomes false so this actually just seems to do the exact same thing as a constructor so I'm not exactly sure why they're having us do this what reasoning behind this uh, here is pro here we're doing the same thing right beagle this is essentially the same code C console log beagle constructor dog prototype of beagle uh, so here the constructor, it's dog, and it's the prototype, it's prototype of dog is true. Here, I thought that because the, we would use this prototype of, it would make it so that this was true, and because checking the prototype would work. So in order for us to keep the constructor class here, we would have to say constructor, and then make this equal to dog. And now we would get true, and the function would be dog. So no, I'm not exactly sure why you would use this instead of this, because it seems like they work the same. So hopefully in future lessons, they'll make that more explicit. But if we run the test, we'll see that they pass. Uh, finally, once again, this all of this stuff is... Um, I don't even think you need to console log anything. I think if you wanted to just get the right answer for to pass the free code camp exercise, you could run this, this guy, um, which is just you basically copy this. Instead of saying bird, you say dog. Um, and that's just, the, this would be the simple way of just get passing the test really quickly. But I think if you do this and you really explore your code and understand it on a higher level, um, then you're going to be better off in the future kind of understanding the reasoning behind what you're learning here. Um, because just blasting this out is quite easy, but really taking your time to understand it, even if it doesn't become entirely clear why we would be doing this, gives you a better um, capacity to learn this stuff. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.